Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. Today is kind of a culmination, a blending of two previous shows. We have the 15 minute Saison, uh, which uh, people responded positively to mm -hmm. uh, in a previous uh, video episode. And then we had an experiment with the uh, home brewer Joe Covey on a previous Basic Brewing Radio podcast right. where he compared uh, two Saison yeasts, uh, the T58. Uh, is that Saf Ale? Mm -hmm. Saf Ale 258. Yeah. And, and the uh, Bella Saison. Yep. Uh, and we, the, the, the results were kind of confusing because yeah. you and I thought the Bella, or the T58 was kind of spicier and more Saison-y. And, and the difference between the two is pretty dramatic. Yeah. Joe thought the, uh, seemed to think that the, T uh, the Bella Saison was more kind of traditionally Saison-y. So mm -hmm. uh, I decided to, to do an experiment of my own, and we will get back with Joe on a pre on a, a, a future Basic Brewing Radio podcast because we've got some more experiments to evaluate with him. Right. So <laughs> I'm out of breath. Are you confused yet? <laughs> I'm out of breath uh, explaining the episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the triangle test. So, uh, uh, but before we do that, I'll talk about how I made this beer. Okay. Okay. So this was another 15 minute uh, saison. Uh, this time it was 3.3 uh, pounds or 1.5 kilograms of Bavarian wheat liquid extract. 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms of Pilsen light extract. One pound or 450 grams of dextrose sugar this time. And then I used two ounces or 56 grams of German Mandarina Bavaria yeast, or not yeast, hops. <laughs> I'm confused. And I boiled all that stuff just for 15 minutes. And then I chilled it and I separated the wort into two parts. I, I stirred the wort as it was coming out of the, the spigot of the kettle to make mm -hmm. sure that, the, you know, the, that it was the same. Mm -hmm. I split it between two of my uh, three gallon hardware store plastic fermenters. I pitched um, Bella Saison in one and T58 in the other. Uh, starting gravity was 1053. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the finishing gravity was. I okay. didn't see, did you? No, I didn't see. You probably couldn't read my handwriting anyway. Nope. So, what we're going to do is I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, I put uh, these are labeled on the, through the caps. One has a B for the, the Bella Saison, the other has a T for the T58. Mm -hmm. So I took masking tape, or duct tape actually, yep. and stuck over the top of four Probably can't see that, identical but... bottles. So it's taped up. <clears throat> so taped up. Yep. So I don't even know which one is which. We don't know what's what. And they've been randomized just from being moved around a lot. Right, right. So we don't have any idea what's what. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick, pick three of these. It's like three card Monty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which one is the queen? <laughs> is, this a, is this a game of chance? No, not the way I play it. At no, at no time will my hands leave the end of my arms. That's right. Okay, so pick, okay. so you pick three. All right, I'm going to pick these three right here. Okay, okay. and we'll, we will take this two. So, so now what we have is two, two of one and one of the other. Right. So if you will write on there one, two, and three, just because the the caps are the identifying. Okay. Label. Okay. Got it. So now we just got to keep. But we our, don't want to mix them up. You got to keep our bottles and our yeah. our glasses straight. Yes. So okay. uh, excuse me. Pardon my reach. Okay. So if you want to start. Okay. And so pouring, now, or, or you pour your first one, and I'll pour my first one, and then there we go. <laughs> this is why we wrote the numbers on. <laughs> so and and I think I under prime. So pour aggressively. That's good. No, this is kind of nice. Is it working? Yeah. I mean, maybe I could stand another week in a bottle, but okay. yeah. Okay. All right. So that's number, so that's number one. one. Number one. And the object of the triangle test is to try to pick out the odd one out. So, so we don't know. Uh, and these are my. <laughs> we're, we're on Patreon now, so we can afford crystal glasses for our, <laughs> <That's right>. our sampling. <laughs> patreoncom slash Uh so, 
Okay. Yeah, these are. I didn't have six of any of any kind of glass except for these crystal glasses that we got uh, for our wet, uh, wedding, my wife and I, twenty five years ago. Yeah, she's my favorite country and western singer. Crystal. Crystal glasses. Crystal glasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. All so right. now what I'm going to do is we're, it's this is the tedious part. We're going to take our time and and taste mm -hmm. and sample and think, and then I'm just going to speed up the video so that you don't have to sit through that very much. Okay. So okay. go. back to the <laughs> back to real time so you think you, this is this was hard this was very difficult these these are very close together yeah but i do have a i do have a thought okay you which what it is yes which do you think is the odd one out i think number three is the odd one out why i think that it has a little better head retention it has a little there's a little breadiness there that i don't get from the other two and there's a little more mouthfeel, a little more, it's a little richer beer. Hmm. I know it's the exact same uh, malt bill and all that, so right. I know it's not attributed to that. So assuming that the only thing that could make it taste different to me is the yeast, I think number three tastes a little richer, a little more bready, and I believe it has better head retention. Hmm. Well, I, I, think, I think number three is the different one out uh, as well, mainly because of the difference in head retention. Yeah, well, but, I mean, the, the visual vision, cue the is visual, the first thing. Right. But I couldn't, if I didn't see that, I don't know that I would have been able to tell the difference between these two. These, these are very similar in, in flavor to me. Sometimes I was like, wow, that one's got more banana than the others, and then I'd take a sip of water and go the other direction, and I'd be like, no, that one's got more, you know, Right, uh, you know this one's more spicy. This no, this one's more spicy. And so, you know, when we get, we, <laughs> we always do this when we do these triangle tests. We're like, oh, you know, tearing our uh -huh. what's left of our hair out, you know, trying to figure <laughs> out uh, what's uh, uh, what's what. So, I guess I guess we just need to need to reveal, and then oh no, wait, do you have any do you have any any guesses as far as which one's which then? If this one is the odd one out, I honestly don't, and I'm going to make one, but it's completely, I mean, based on what we did with Joe, mm. I, everything I thought I knew about the flavor <laughs> profiles of those yeasts, and the fact that, say, over the last 10, 15 years, we've both brewed with these yeasts, mm -hmm. so I've drank beers that I've made with these yeasts before, and I, I had a notion of what I thought they were supposed to taste like, but without any... Uh, baseline, yeah. Even that doesn't hold yeah. any water. So, shall we? Yeah. So, but let me get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that this one is the Bella Saison because it had better head retention in the fermenter. In the fermenter, there was a drastic difference between the two. I mean, this really? one. This one held the. Or, or I don't even know, but I'm assuming it's this one. The Bella Saison held its head, the foam, a lot. Long, longer than the than the T58. Hmm. So that's why, you know, I'm a little influenced here, um, <laughs> mainly because I've been drinking all these beers, but also because, uh, you know, I saw the, the head retention. But the flavors are really, really close together. And we got to say that the, I think the beer is good. No, the beer is really good. I would brew this recipe again. Yeah. It's, it's another good, if you, it's a lighter flavor than the previous uh, incarnation the previous 15 minutes yes uh, so if you like a dark a darker richer uh, and I think that I think the Imperial yeast which I used with the previous one boy it was super spicy yeah and, and I don't think this is as spicy of course it's apples and oranges because it's not the same recipe and right. maybe the darker syrup brought out more spice who knows yeah but these these beers are not as saisony and spicy as the Imperial yeast was um, so yeah, let's 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 pull some. 
I'm going to go with I'm going to go also with this being the Belle Saison, not based on what you said, but based on my preconceived notion of what it ought to taste like. Okay. Okay. So you peel off number three. Okay. What is it? Belle it's Saison. the Belle Saison. And yep. number two is the T58. Yep. And that this is the this is the one that determines if we know what we're doing or not. This is the T58. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. So we got it. We got it right. Finally. And <laughs> but I think without the foam, you know, without the the increased head retention, I don't know that I would have been able to do it. These are really really close together as far as flavor is concerned, and a lot less dramatic than than the the beers of Joe's. And it, yeah, you know, his was an all grain beer, which I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Um, but it's it's curious. It, it, every time we do an experiment, we we uh, we cause more questions than say, we answer. I have more more <laughs> questions than I have answers. Um, dare I ask this though? Do you have a preference? Or are they so close together that it, it's just flip a coin? And Flavor wise, I mean, I you know I'd like to taste them. You know, after we finish shooting, I'd like to taste them again. You know, now that they've warmed up a little bit. But um, flavor wise, I think they're just so close. That I don't know that I would have a preference. I'm and, pretty much in the same boat. Yeah. Except I would say, and I'm very I'm splitting very thin hair, like what's on the top of my head. <laughs> um, I think this one's a little maltier and breadier. This is a little spicier and a little thinner mm. to me. So those aren't judgments about what's good or bad. I forgot. What the final gravities? Oh yeah, what's final gravity? So we start out at 10:53. Yeah. The Bella Saison came in at 1010. Yeah. The T58 came in at 1018. And I thought it was sweeter. Now you say that. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> I, and so but that's they were, crazy. But they were dramatically different in in finishing gravities. Uh, you know oh that my that, gosh. Would, that that would be the Bella Saison came in at 5.7%, the T58 came in at 4.6. But Again, and I even forgot this as we were tasting, uh, I still, the difference between the three mouthfeel wise and flavor wise yep. and all that to me was not, it wasn't like, oh, this is, su these are super sweet and this one's dry. Not that at all. Right. So, either my... That's crazy. Yeah, I know. I checked my hydrometer <laughs> multiple times I, on that. Bitch. I thought, so. I thought that's, a, these are a little sweeter. But it was so so much little right. sweeter that I didn't think anything about it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. There you go. <laughs> well, that, that was. Uh, now we have more questions. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do something similar again, <clears throat> I think, uh, as a as a backup. So I hope this has been inspirational <laughs> or confusing or confusing to you. You know, write your uh, send us in an email to to say what uh, what your experience has been with these two yeasts. Uh, or you know, in the, if you're watching on you, on the YouTube's, uh, post in the comments yeah. down below. They're great. They're good beers. Yeah, I drink. There's not a thing wrong. I'd with be these happy beers. with either one. So, wow, very go. very interesting. Even though I was expecting much more difference. Me too. All right. So we'll get together with Joe mm -hmm. in the future, in the next few weeks, and and uh, we'll do an audio uh, recording. And so check in with the audio feed on Basic Brewing Radio to see how we do there. Cheers. Cheers. Happy brewing, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy oh, yeah. New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy, insert your <laughs> holiday. You can't name here. them all. <laughs> right. F uh, Festivus. Cheers. Come and visit us online. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs and our Brewer's Logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. If you're in Fayetteville, Arkansas, stop by Steve's Brew Shop or find him online at stevesbrewshop.com. I wish I'd have said that before, because I honestly thought that it was a little <laughs> sweet, and I thought, oh, I'm just imagining that. <laughs> we'll go back now I'm going to look like a... Like a one of those people that agrees with you right the last second when they know they can't be wrong. <laughs>